You work hard to make YouTube better for everyone. No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's my aim. I don't profess to know what is better for everyone. Even a chemist or a medical professional will not be able to give you a definitive answer to what is better for everyone. One person's ambrosia is another person's allergic reaction. And given how much more subjective videography is than biology, I'd say it would be pretty shitting arrogant of me to speak for everyone in the world's largest videography community. And like all heroes, you deserve a place to call home. I'm not a hero, dear friend. I don't have a katana or a cheerleading outfit. <laughs> and I'm not appallingly scripted beyond the first season. Welcome to YouTube Prefects. I'll a lot, a lot of you youngsters will be unfamiliar with what a prefect is. Um, in sort of uh, boarding schools and just, you know, other such antiquated learning institutions, uh, it's typical, for, or at least it used to be typical, for the, the teaching body to give extra authoritative duties to uh, selected students, usually volunteers, and make it in those students' interests to snitch on other students. Sort of like a hall monitor, you know, but a school monitor and one in every class, that sort of thing. It's, it's the perfect way to keep the students fighting amongst themselves, questioning each other, rather than ever questioning the syllabus or the authorities. It's kind of evil genius, actually. It's how a school would run if Machiavelli himself were in charge. Carry on. Tell us what we get points for. Gain points when you add captions or subtitles to a video. Okay. Uh, do the subtitles have to be correct and the captions relevant? If, if people start plastering spotlights all over everyone's videos saying, Vote Hillary! Will they mysteriously stay there until December while you frantically take down all the ones that say, Vote Trump! Yeah, I haven't watched the rest of this video yet. I'll go as far as this point and then decided to make this response. Is this correct, YouTube? You are incentivizing people to report, quote, negative content. Not, not to report, you know, criminal activity or to report violent incitement. That's already part of the rules pretty much everywhere. But you're talking about reporting negative content. So how about gain points when you report Content that breaks the terms of use. Yeah, you know, you know, piracy and pornography and whatnot. Wouldn't that make sense to frame it in the guidelines you've already set out? No, because YouTube, you want to be able to ban videos that don't break your terms of use in any way, but just happen to be offensive to the right people. Am I fairly close to the money there? Unfortunately, you couldn't find the correct legalese phrasing to say we want YouTube ideologically purified of all its evil Islamophobes and misogynists. So you're baiting the Internet's bossiest keyboard warriors to come in and do your dirty work for you. Well, it's out of our hands. All we did was get some community volunteers involved. We can't possibly have known that the community volunteers we carefully selected would be raging social justice activists who flag everything that leans to the right of Stalin! Remember Sesame Credit? We talked about it last year. It's, it's this new Chinese model for operating the internet. By giving everyone credits that they can lose by saying the wrong thing and gain by reporting friends and family who say the wrong thing. Yeah, <laughs> steal credits from your loved ones and earn more credits. It's like introducing a whole new system of currency in which theft is not just legal, but encouraged. Theft becomes a virtue for those who signal the correct virtues. 
You're not talking about reporting your neighbours if they commit a crime. You are talking about reporting your neighbours if they commit wrong think. That is the difference between video content that actually breaks the rules and video content that is perfectly within your rules but is nevertheless deemed negative. It's the same as the difference between law and totalitarianism. Your rules don't mean shit. Anyone is allowed to break them as long as they're on the right ideological team. There is, there is no quicker, easier way to turn a population against itself dissolving their community cohesion, stunting their economic growth and rotting their infrastructure from the inside until they're left starving and isolated and begging the big brother authorities to swoop in and save them from themselves. Need I remind you, YouTube, that you are a property of Google and Google's motto is don't be evil. Now, just how much do you plan to resemble a communist dictatorship before it occurs to you that you're breaking your own rules there. If Mao Zedong and Joseph fucking Stalin were not evil, then who the fuck is? And what the fuck have you ever been talking about, please? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not as worried as I sound. I mean, when you think about it, you're asking the internet here. If I know anything about the internet, 90% of the people who apply to YouTube heroes will be the Hitler did nothing wrong division. <laughs> no doubt there will be a vetting process, and that's you know what, what all these shady behind-the-scenes hero summits are all about. But that's only going to flush out some of the moles. Many of our moles are smart and adaptable, and are going to make it into your ranks of YouTube heroes. Because however many waspy social justice fucks are already leaping at the chance to have the authority of which they've always dreamed. I am confident that they are nevertheless overwhelmingly outnumbered by the professional trolls and the miscreants and the decorated hunters of top kick. And they won't let me down. They're probably in the system already. Never forgiving, never forgetting, never flinching in the pursuit of the rarest of lulls. You know what to do, folks. Do what triggers do best. Bounce. And uh, uh, for inspiration in your journey, I'm going to leave you with some photographic amusement. This is what happened when McDonald's let the internet create their own burger. McDonald's. One of the biggest companies in the world. They are not safe from being fucked with by trolls. <laughs> Finally, brethren... Whatsoever things are true, honest, just, pure, lovely, and of good report, if there be any virtue and there be any praise, think on these things. <laughs>